Guys, just, just to let you know, Joe lives two houses down from me. I've been to his house probably once. Never been out to dinner with him. Never hung out with him and his wife. That's it. There's no relationship. So I'm going to just clarify that. All right, is there anybody else? Just an AR and Zach is the AR, can you hear us? AR? Unmute. All right, next. Z Krem. Who's that? Z Krem. Z Krem. Z Krem. Z Krem, are you there? That's a joke. Z? Okay. Anybody else? No? Nobody else on Zoom? Okay. Okay, we have two. What's that? No, All right, we have uh, two commissioners lights. Commissioner Simone. I just want to clarify something. When I was asked earlier, did I read Shaw's reports? Okay, during the investigation, I did the re read the reports. When I answered no, I did not. It was to the three volumes. No, 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 but the uh, that Commissioner Schwartz keeps talking about that was after the investigation was closed, but I certainly did my homework during the investigation, like I do with everything. So I just want to clear that, clarify that for the record. And I also would like to make two motions. One, in the investigative report, the investigators stated that if the commission expanded the scope of the investigation, that she would confirm the veracity of a statement the chief made to a sergeant uh, texting, quote, he had to promote her. I'd like an investigation um, to be expanded on that. And also the investigator, uh, investigator also recommended an additional investigation be conducted due to the potential gender bias within the department. I also would like to go with an additional investigation on that. Uh, point of order for the city attorney. Should we vote on this motion first since they're like completely separate, but I do agree and I will second that when when that comes up. Mr. Mayor, may I respond? And I just one more thing because Dean, I believe the is the investigator still here? Yes. I'm sure I'm sure we're paying her good money to sit here. So I think that we should have her come up as well. For what? Maybe on the second topic. She what? On, on the on the Issue Joe. Well, first of all, in, in order for her to move on with the next investigation, we have to handle that separately because we have a motion on the table right Correct. now. Correct. That's what I was saying. Right. We should do Listen, this motion. Listen, I'm on. I'm on the favor of what Commissioner or Vice Mayor Schwartz said originally, and if we're going to do that, I think we all need to work collaboratively, meaning the union, the officers, the chief, the staff, the commission. So I understand where you're going with this. You and Simone want another investigation. You want more stuff to come out. I get it. There's, there's probably a ton more. I get it. But it's been there, and it's still going to go on. This is a never-ending battle. There's no answer to this, so we're just trying to come to a reasonable answer. So right now, there's a motion on the table for the chief. Correct. So we handle that first, David? That's yes. Yeah, that's what I was asking as well. Joanne, is she still wrong? I was going to answer you unless, you know, you don't want another investigation, but unless this is addressed, how is it going to be corrected? I don't know if we can correct it, Joanne. I know we could probably be proactive and look forward to new policy and trying to fix the problems, try to make the problems stop. But we already heard from the union rep and Sergeant Horn. They're going to keep continuing with these messages. They're going to keep going. And then what happens? You get rid of the chief, and then all of a sudden they stop. But what happens to all the text messages that they do have still that affect other people? They just go away. But, so it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a no win situation here. We're trying to figure out what is best for the city, for the residents, for the police department. And There's I don't disagree answer. with you as far I, I think we should vote on this issue first, but I will second her motion after we vote on this. It sounds like it's going to go a different way than her and I are speaking about. So we'll address that once the next round comes. But I think that if there is some type of probationary period, we do need to have not 
I don't want more things to come out. It's a bad look for the city. But in order to fix problems, we need to know what the problem is. So we probably should have the investigation continued so that we can get all of the stuff laid out so that we can set goals and objectives and work with the union and whoever we need to work with to fix whatever the issue is. So it's not that I want dirt to come out. This is the last thing I wanted to do. Um, but, but Antonio, but I, if you read the report, the, the closing statement by the person investigating it said there's more problems there. She knows that. We all know that. I mean, how deep do you want to go with this? I mean, I, I mean, if, if we were to remove the chief, would you still want the investigation to go on? It, 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 it's, we're going to have to work together on this. You're going to have to, to give a little extent, probably, to get a little. I probably would because I, I'm not there, – there's probably other bad actors in fairness to the chief. There probably are, and it, and it all does need to be looked at. But I don't want to get sidetracked from the original motion. All right. All right, Vice Mayor. So I'm, I'm going to assume that there's plenty more because I'm under the impression that when some of this was done, other people who could have been investigated, or maybe it was a prior investigation, but other people who could have been asked their opinion were excluded <clears throat> from the scope of the investigation, which I assume would mean other females, other people who have issues. <clears throat> So I guess I'm going to ask Mr. Skirvin, would the union agree to bring all the issues as well as some possible solutions to the city manager because I'm not foolish enough to think that they haven't come and told you and if they haven't then you've got a problem. But would you be willing regardless of what winds up if you see something to say something to him and if not to us, if nothing gets done, because otherwise there are some deep seated things here that regardless of what happens tonight aren't going away until they're brought to the surface and something's done about it. I work I'm gonna, unfortunately, Rod, because I asked you, you gotta go back up there. And then you have to say who you are just for the record. Rod Scarvin, Broward County PBA president. Uh, I work very well. Uh, with uh, Mr. Curtis. Um, I'll be more than happy as the complaints come to me to address them with him and or uh, you if nothing gets resolved. And are there more that you know of? Th there are more. Okay. Does he know that there are more? That uh, probably know? not. Well, he knows in general that there's more coming, I believe, but uh, no, not specifically. Because regardless, that's really important mm -hmm. for them and for us because nobody wants to sit here and then here there's more coming there's more that you didn't know there are reports out there you never got to see and any of the rest of that yeah and i think it, i think it's important for the investigator to can if if you're going to delay the action um I, I think it is very important for the investigator to have one-on-ones with some of these people um, and, so and really bring it out um you know i don't like to like you said, I, I'm not happy about it because it's just going to bring more mud out to the city of Margate, and that's ultimately not what we want. But unfortunately, we're going to have to. It looks like. But I don't think for one moment that that mud won't eventually surface. I agree with you. It doesn't really matter if it's today, tomorrow, or the next day. At some point, human nature is such that it's very difficult to throw things away or swallow them because we've seen that people have saved things we all have something that one if we're gonna if we're gonna fix it as a whole uh as this you know this broken system that we keep talking about which i truly believe is broken uh, then we need to flush it all out and uh, right. eventually get to get to sleep clean and, and start clean each how, person however we... needs to bear their soul because it's unfair to expect that they're going to bury it go fat past it and say, I had something I needed to say and I never got Yeah, we want everybody to have a voice. Correct. So thank you for that answer. And to the city manager, I can then say, can we also be assured that each and every pending and future grievance is fairly investigated and that we know 
that these are go things are going on, so I don't have to sit here and hear about them now. Yes. Then I'm going to ask the chief. Please come up. Exactly what do you figure, if given six months, you can do? Try. I can't promise you six months is going to fix anything. That, I don't think so either. Clearly, you have had, from now what I'm hearing, because I was not under the impression that your majors voted, but clearly the people under you, who I would assume the whole reason of them being out of actually the union, either if they're still paying the dues, but not, was to be able to tell you to your face, this works, this doesn't work, and this is my suggestion. If that hasn't happened, you have a clear problem with the people beneath you. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, if it has happened, and you wantonly disregard it, That's we got a problem. Mm -hmm. And so, well, again, the charter says, ah. I can't tell him what to do with the people beneath you because that's a charter violation. I can only suggest you report to him, he reports to us. And so there is a chasm of where things are and what we know and what he knows. And I will repeat what I once said to a former city manager. Sometimes I feel like there's a black ops group operating that tells me only what they think I need to know when they think I need to know it. And to which my response is, I don't do stupid well. I never want to sit here and say, I didn't know that. I'm supposed to. They're supposed to. And I've heard a lot of stuff today that I can honestly say, I didn't know that. I'm past stupid text messages, because stupid text messages we can't take back. I'm worried about the future of the department and what I've heard started a long time ago. But I also know that you were here a long time ago, and I would like to think that there weren't that many blind eyes turned to the problem because it wasn't your problem, or it wasn't somebody else's problem. Do I know if six months will make a difference? No, I don't. But for me, six months is it. <coughs> and perhaps we call it, would you call it probationary? Whatever we call it. Do I think it's separate from that? If we survive this tonight, comes a hell of a suspension without pay for the text messages, <coughs> you bet your life. Because I, nobody disagrees with that. So, let That's, me ask a question. Yeah. So if, if it does happen, what you're saying, he's given six months. The first month, he's going to be suspended. The, fr the first month, the complaints are going to come in like you cannot believe. He's got no defense. You're setting him up for failure. Then he comes back, and he wants to do what he wants to do, and it's going to look like this guy's going after me now because I said something. I think Wait, they already how do, you, how, do you, think. how do you fix a problem when you, your hands are tied? Well, I'm going to give you awesome. one of two choices. Either we figure out a way for that to work, or today I change my vote because it won't work. <clears throat> I, well, I will be you have to be wanting to, for it to work. You have to be, well, in other words, we all got to be on the same team. That's why but I'm what walking. do you want? But, but, so when he comes back one month from now, if he wants to demote somebody, and that person has a complaint in about him, how's that gonna work? Sitting home on suspension doesn't stop you from writing a plan, fighting. It doesn't mean you stop breathing, reading your text messages. It simply means that you're sitting home, not running a department. So if there, you want me what, to wait a month and then give him a suspension? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying if you're gonna give him a suspension, he's out for a month, right? The texts are going to, the, the, we've already heard, they're going to keep coming. Right, no, no, this, so this, 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 is, this is a, no, 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 the complaints will come in. He's going to be suspended sitting at home. The complaints will come in. We've already been told by the union rep, by another officer or sergeant, they're going to keep coming. Yeah. Then he comes back and there's 20 more complaints against him. Now he's like, you know what? I've wanted to move this guy and demote him for months now. He's back. 
He's coming back and he's told he can't do it because there's a complaint against you. All right, so my answer is, if you've wanted to move and demote someone for months, I sure as hell suggest you do it tomorrow, but you don't I, wait. I think there's merit to what the mayor's saying, but we're not there yet. I'm sure we're gonna get there because I'm, I'm assuming the vote's gonna go 3-2 well, on, on the on termination. How we but, out. Can I throw but, something in also later? But I think Antonio's if done? it was to go to, I wouldn't suspend, I would severely reduce the pay because you know what quite frankly we're probably going to get sued and it's going to cost us money but again i think we're getting ahead of a potentially another vote here I, I think the motion right now is motions right now of termination determination see where that goes and then we can you know i i don't want to i don't agree with another solution but i'll respect the board if that's the way they go and we'll come up with a solution on the next vote okay I'm sure that the chief has spoken with the city manager about some changes that he would like to make way before this stuff was ever started before. The, and I think he should be allowed to make those changes that he wanted to make before this stuff started. Before these complaints came in, he had changes he wanted to make. I think he should be allowed to make them. I would also hope that I hear clearly that there's no respect for chain of command. That needs to stop. Uh, nobody calls up the president of the United States, who's me, and gets through. That just doesn't happen. I guarantee you that nobody gets to the city manager without going through whomever their uppers are, and sometimes through a grievance procedure, because that's why when I think we have one. Um, I think... I think you've heard a lot. I've heard a lot. And I'm not a police officer, so I don't necessarily... From a school, board, a school perspective, we hold people to a higher standard. And there would have been somebody in my office that would have understood way before whether you understood how bad the situation was or not, you certainly do now. Whether they trust you or not, that's something you're going to have to earn. And I can't do for you. And whether they will the things that are going on here that are apparently endemic for a long time heal can't help you with that one either that's peace that each person is going to have to make with you during that time and if it doesn't happen then my next vote vote will be for them and i say it right here so if any of them comes to me even in a month and says nothing has changed then i'll bring it back up if i'm on the prevailing side we won't wait for the six months I just, you know, I know that the public feels one way, has not seen some of the stuff or heard some of the stuff we'd heard today. I just am so conflicted with this because I'm trying to find a solution that probably, as the guy on the ra on, on Zoom said, doesn't exist anymore. Um, if it were up to me, I'd get another week to think about this and just simply say, here's your punishment for the stupid text messages. Sit home and let us figure out what we do afterwards and maybe get to speak to some more of the people who showed up here today who have clearly things to say that none of us know about. And that's a thought too. Commissioner Simone. Kale, I don't wanna throw you under the bus, but has the chief gone to you with suggestions that he wants to make in the department? Um, we can we can discuss that. Yes. So that's a yes. That's a yes. And and what are those changes? I don't know. I think she's just is it asking. The in addition general. of a fourth major is it the addition of a deputy chief? Because in those are positions that are added to staff that go before the commission. Well, they're not my decisions. And and chief and I have had discussions on that. <clears throat> And there's been timing discussions there are financial implications to that it's not something that i can just grant and give no the things that were discussed tonight is there I, personnel has he spoken to you at all about personnel changes that he wants to make 
Um, if we're referring to a major hey, I'm talking personnel. about I'm not asking for positions. I'm asking, has he spoken to you You're about in general. Uh, in general that there are positions that he wants to move yes, around? There, there was That's a, a demotion that he was going to make. And as long and, as and there was a discussion about the timing of that. Okay. All I'm saying is that he should be given the opportunity to make those changes since they were before any of this stuff and came out. It was out. not not before. It was it wasn't before? No. And in, fair, and in fairness to the city manager, I'm pretty sure he pulled all of us on a lot of this, these items. I know I've been asked a few times about a deputy chief. I spoke to the chief about it, and I told him I would support a deputy chief with the caveat that I would not hire from within. So he could be the deputy chief, but he'll not, he won't be the chief of police if he retires, leaves, whatever. That's correct. I was been asking for that for almost two years. So, you know, but. Well, can I make this suggestion then? No matter how this goes, we, th we feel he needs help. Some of us feel he shouldn't be here. How about open up that position of deputy chief and have the commission interview rather than it not be the chief's pick, the union's pick, but our pick. If possible, even if we can do that. But the purpose of the deputy chief at this point would be what? To do the job you really should have done. Well, I'm fair. No. I'm on both sides here. No, because because from what I'm hearing is there's two commissioners that want him gone. And if from what you said, you want to hire from the outside. Oh, the next chief? Yeah. One thousand percent. So why not have that person? In the in the wings, in case something does happen, then it should be a much wider. But, yeah, but it depends then who's picking the chief. Right. Number one. That's what I'm saying. It certainly would be better if we did it. But if you but, wanna... but I still don't know. I just don't know how that fixes all well, of the issues. I'm, I'm, I don't know if we can fix it, but I can tell you this: when you have, like, uh, I heard, and I'm not going after you, Commissioner Simone say, um, promotions. The way it works in the city of Margate, and I don't know if it's just our police department, but you can only hire from within. No, you mean so in other words, promote. Promote, promote, promote from within. Promote. So if you have a sergeant's test, lieutenant's test, and I think it happened recently, there was five or six sergeants chosen. <coughs> You're basically saying that the first three made it, everybody made it, everybody moved on. So you're basically promoting, you have to promote. There, there's no saying you failed, you're done, you're over, or open it up to the outside and saying, hey, we're going to hire a first sergeant and open it up. It's one of the only departments in the city that you have to hire or promote from within. Is that true? I think it is. I mean, I'm the, asking. I'm asking. Yes. So if, 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 if you're a chief and, and I'm just saying, if you have bad apples to pick from, where do you go? Why? Where do you go? But the question is, is why is that a must? Why is, I don't know. It, 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 it's a lot a, of that is governed by union contracts. So okay. getting back to that, that's where the policy has to be talked to and set with the union. You know, there, there's a lot of things like the, the text message, the, the dates of the text messages. We need to put something in place where, like you were saying, Anthony, a month, two months, that's it. We don't want to hear the complaint. It happened. You didn't say nothing. Must not have been that important. Let's move on. You know, the hiring process, I think the oral, the oral part weighing 60%, I think that's ridiculous. I think you should be based on your, your testing score. You know, anybody can get nervous and fail an oral. So I don't think that that has such a big weight on it where it could be used as, as, as a tool in some areas. So there's certain things that we need to do, we need to look at, um, but we're going to have to have collaboration with the union. It's going to have to be. If not, it's not going to work. For my, it's it, not going to work. With the complaints, it's kind of two part. Personally, I feel like they should be brought forth right away. And I believe there's policy that requires it. I'm going to read it to you. Correct. However, they can go outside of here with lawsuits and stuff that just because it happened a certain amount of time ago doesn't make it go away. So it's kind of a two part thing. I mean, they, they can still take action with those complaints, but as far as breaking policy, you know, it is, it is breaking policy if they don't come forward. But again, my whole thing is that the argument is 
they, they have come forward in times past or even now, and it's it's not being addressed. Um, do you want to, did you want to speak? It just bothers me what the answer was when um, they were asked about the uh, the motion, and it's taken place after this. That's very worrisome. I, about the what promotion? I mean, demotion. 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 Oh. demotion. Demotion. Oh, demotion. I think you said devotion. No, that the chief went. That the chief went to him after this investigation to no, demote uh, somebody. Chief, can you clarify that? It, 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 it was, did did it you was, go after the investigation asked for someone to be demoted, or was it prior? I remember the exact timing, but I know it was the third time that I had brought it up to the city. Third manager. time. Yes. And it was um, before. I don't know if it was during this, but it wasn't because of this. It was because the same issue that kept persisting was persisting and I wasn't able to correct it. So it didn't have anything to do with this investigation. But doesn't but this, well, the chief picks the major, it's not the city manager or the commission. Well, I, why did you go to the city manager? Your reason? Did you have to go to the, the charge city says he has to approve it? Okay. No. Yeah, oh. talking about the debt. Are you not talking? No. Oh, you're talking about the demotion. Oh. So, Why so you you went been... several times before the investigation, and it didn't happen. Right. Again, because because I was trying to give a chance for the person to correct their actions. And okay. It so work. maybe did, did that clarify, Joanne? No, because he's changed the story. <clears throat> he's changed the story twice now. The first time he said he couldn't recall the date. And now he's I don't recall the exact date the last time that I brought it up with in conjunction with when this investigation was going on because it had nothing to do with. But the then you said it was before the investigation, so you've double talked. No, I didn't. I explained that there was three times I've gone to the city manager about the same issue over time, and I've given three chances for the person to make correct to correct some actions. The third time, I don't remember exactly what the date was in conjunction with this investigation, but it wasn't because of this investigation. It was the same issue that was recurring. But, but I just don't see how one thing has to do with the other. There's the actions of the chief, and then there's the actions of this major, who I've heard things about too, and, and probably should potentially be demoted. But one, again, one has nothing to do with the other. Can I just ask a question? It just kicked in. The complaint we got today, was that from the major? Yes, sir. It was from the major. Yeah. The major we're talking about. Yes. Yeah. Put a complaint in today. Yes. See how this is going to play out? Well, and I met with him a couple of days ago, and he never said a word to me about it. Okay. Do you guys see where this is going? Yeah. I met with him for almost an hour, and he never said a word to me about it. Can you help us, Ron? Well, we, well we, we can't. We, we have a complaint that was That's filed. That's true. We can't talk about it against because the chief, so we all right, can't necessarily. The, the, all I'm just going to say is I spoke to him just a couple of days ago, and he never said a word to me about it. Really? And I mean a couple of days ago, not a bunch of days ago. A couple. But, but that's why, aside from the actions that he did with the messages, we know they're going to come out, whether they're right or wrong. The department's going to continue to be in this disarray unless we have somebody new come in. And that's why I said before it got to this point to retire and let someone come in and take over. There's who, how are they, how is the new person, how are they going to complain against he or she? It wasn't like, you know, the shop people are now going after this or vice versa. All that's gone. Is it? Is it gone? Why not? Why wouldn't it be gone? It's still all there. There still is issues with the department that we need to investigate and look at. But from the top, there's not going to be, how is there going to be favoritism or this one was friends with that one? <clears throat> In answer to a question. I am guessing this is from their standard operating procedure 7.3.80 reporting violations personnel having knowledge of a violation of the standards of conduct general orders standard operating procedure or any official direction by another officer or employee shall immediately 
report the violation to a supervisor. And then there's others that say that um, personnel shall support the policies, orders, directions, and procedures of the department and shall not criticize or, can't read my own word there, or whatever it is, the department, its policies, orders, or personnel in speech writing or by expression where such interferes with the maintenance of discipline or otherwise undermines the effectiveness of the department. There's a lot of stuff out there that I think has not been adhered to. I don't disagree with that, but that doesn't then justify the actions of others. Of course not. I'm just simply saying that a lot of stuff that should have been done, been done. And I don't really know where you go. 